Hyundai with quantum computing. Snapchat will produce VR goggles with mind control. Who does not love to be spellbound by new scientific experiments and innovations? And if you are watching this video, get prepared to be overwhelmed by a couple of brilliant technological breakthroughs. Today, we have scientific wonders from quantum computing to mind-controlled VR goggles by none other than Snapchat, and many more on our platter. So sit tight till the end and get amazed. But before that, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. Think you like what you see? Then also be sure to hit that bell icon while you are at it to ensure that you are notified every time we come out with a fresh new piece of content for you. That being said, let's begin. Start off with a doctor who got holotransported by NASA to the International Space Station. He liked to introduce us to this new noun, holoportation. It's a combination of the words hologram and teleportation. And it's not some obscure sci-fi phrase found in Isaac Asimov novels and Star Trek episodes. NASA utilized this incredible futuristic device in October to safely transport NASA flight surgeon Dr. Joseph Schmidt to the International Space Station while he was still on Earth. There is no need for rockets. Fernando de la Pena Laca, the CEO of AEXA Aerospace, a firm that helped build the holoportation technology and a few other team members, accompanied Schmidt on this transdimensional adventure. It is a fresh new mode of human exploration in which our human essence is capable of traveling off the planet. Schmidt stated in an April statement, our physical bodies are not present, but our human essence is. Holoportation isn't a brand new technology, despite its appearance. Microsoft came up with the notion some years ago to transform industries such as advertising, terrestrial healthcare, and education, and has been continuously expanding it ever since. However, NASA's most recent attempt elevated the achievement to a new level. This is the first time that a form of virtual transportation has successfully transported humans beyond the Earth's surface. The holographic holoporters on the International Location Station were able to see, hear, and interact with each other as if they were in the same physical space as astronauts. This might aid astronauts, interplanetary telemedicine, ISS construction tasks, and possibly future deep space travel. Moving on to the next, Chinese scientists have created a robot rat that might save lives. Chinese scientists claim to have created a robot rat that they think will be useful in disaster relief efforts. They said the rat can squeeze through tight spaces, climb slopes, overcome barriers, and walk on snow, and that it may be used to transport medical supplies or emergency food to areas where rescuers are unable to reach, such as individuals buried beneath the rubble following an earthquake. This month, a group of researchers from Beijing Institute of Technology and Tsinghua University published their findings in IEEE Transactions on Robotics, a peer-reviewed publication. The team has been updating the prototype since 2019 and intends to have the robot ready for commercial introduction in 2025, according to lead author Shi Qing, a professor and vice director of the Beijing Institute of Technology's Intelligent Robotics Institute. The robot might be dispatched to earthquake ruins or building collapse situations, where rubble has created places too small for rescuers to access. According to its creators, it can also provide emergency meals to anyone stuck beneath debris. The robot, which is 19 centimeters, 7.5 inches long, and weighs 220 grams, 7.8 ounces, is powered by solar rechargeable batteries and can be operated remotely over Wi-Fi using a computer or phone, according to Xi. It walks at a 15 centimeter per second average pace and carries a 200 gram payload for sensor installation or light cargo transfer. The team plans to keep refining the robot, including increasing its agility, adding additional sensors for field testing in tight irregular pipes, and waterproofing it. Next, IonQ and Hyundai Motor have expanded their partnership to include object detection using quantum computing. Hyundai Motor Company and IonQ, NICE IonQ, a leader in quantum computing, launched today a new collaboration to use quantum machine learning to image categorization and 3D object recognition for future mobility. The basic stages for the next generation of mobilities, including autonomous cars, are image classification and 3D object identification. IonQ and Hyundai will collaborate to boost computational functionality by using quantum computers to do more efficient machine learning. Quantum computers can handle massive volumes of data quicker and more correctly than traditional systems. IonQ's quantum computers are now in use to classify 43 different types of traffic signs, thanks to a breakthrough in encoding pictures into quantum states. The two businesses will next use IonQ's machine learning data in Hyundai's test environment and recreate numerous real-world scenarios in the following step. 
We're thrilled to expand our current cooperation with Hyundai Motor to focus on another important area of next-generation mobility, stated IonQ President and CEO Peter Chapman. We anticipate seeing quantum computers become an ever more vital element of creating revolutionary transportation solutions, from cooperating on battery research for electric cars to picture classification and object recognition research for autonomous driving. IonQ and Hyundai will collaborate on this project to develop quantum approaches for 3D object identification, extending on current work on identifying road signs to include additional things such as pedestrians and cyclists. Using IonQ's newest quantum computer, IonQ Aria, to perform object identification tasks could result in more efficient processing at reduced costs, paving the way for the creation of safer, more intelligent mobility in the future, based on conventional application-oriented industry criteria. IonQ Aria is the industry's most powerful quantum computer, with 20 algorithmic qubits. Following a January announcement that the two firms had joined to employ quantum computers to improve the performance, cost, and safety of lithium batteries for EVs, today's development marks the latest endeavor between IonQ and Hyundai Motor. After that, the latest augmented reality contact lens prototype from Mojo Vision has been revealed. Mojo Vision has announced the creation of a new prototype of their augmented reality contact lenses, the Mojo Lens. The business thinks that its smart contact lens will bring invisible computing to life. The Mojo Lens prototype is an invention positioned at the crossroads of smartphones, augmented reality, virtual reality, smart wearables, and health tech, and is a crucial milestone for the firm in its development, testing, and validation process. The prototype incorporates several new hardware features and technologies inside the lens, which improve the display, communications, eye tracking, and power supply. Mojo Vision, situated in Saratoga, California, has been investing in new software experiences for Mojo Lens for the last two years. The business has constructed a basic operating system code and user experience, UX components, for the first time in this new prototype. Consumers and partners will benefit from the new software since it allows for additional development and testing of crucial use cases. Individuals with limited vision will be the initial target market as it will be a medically authorized gadget that can assist partly blind people to see things like traffic signs better. The first consumer use of invisible computing for performance athletes has been found by Mojo. Strategic relationships with renowned sports and fitness companies have been revealed by the organization. Athletes might get a competitive advantage by using Mojo Lens to keep focused on their activity or training. Users may receive timely information quickly and discreetly with this Eyes Up experience. Because regular plastic isn't suited for computer hardware, it will be based on a stiff gas permeable plastic contact lens. Sensors such as motion sensing, accelerometers, gyroscopes, and a magnetometer are included, as well as a custom-built radio for communication. The results will conceal the electronics and appear to be a natural extension of your eye. Through the FDA's Breakthrough Devices program, Mojo Vision has collaborated with the agency. The business plans to release a software development kit, SDK, for others to utilize to construct their apps. So far, it has received more than $205 million in investments from investors like NEA Advantech, Capital, and PTC. Last but not least, Snap is rumored to be working on AR glasses that can be controlled by the brain. Snap Incorporated is trying to build sophisticated AR gadgets that can be controlled by users through their minds after recently earning its first ever profit due to the tremendous growth of its messaging network, Snapchat. Doesn't that sound like something out of a science fiction movie? Snap has bought a startup specializing in brain-computer interfaces to aid the developments of its next-generation AR spectacles. Snap recently announced the acquisition of Nextmind, a Paris-based company that creates brain-computer interfaces (BCIs) that allow users to manage smart devices and computer systems with their minds. The Nextmind team will collaborate with Snap Labs to create the next generation of augmented reality gadgets that will allow users to interact with and control virtual things using their minds. Nextmind's product range now includes a simple, head-worn, non-invasive EEG electroencephalogram device. The gadget does not read thoughts or send any signals to the brain in this way. It has powerful sensors and translation technology, allowing users to operate computer interfaces and smart gadgets in real time with the strength of their minds. The gadget is comprised of a small sensor that converts brain impulses into real-world actions, such as adjusting the color of a smart light or making the app tweaks. Snap now offers its collection of AR-based smart glasses, including Spectacles 2 and 3. 
Snap's smart glasses already have powerful augmented reality AR features. Next generation spectacles might leverage NextMind's neural technology to allow users to manipulate AR surroundings with their minds. However, NextMind's neural headband will be phased out. It's to keep the NextMind team focused only on Snap's forthcoming project advancements. The corporation will, however, continue to function in its native nation of France. Snap hasn't revealed how much it's paid for the company. Other specifics about this rumored Snap product are still unknown. Stay tuned for additional information as it becomes available. Meanwhile, what are your thoughts on Snap's upcoming AR glasses that will be controlled by the user's brain? Would you be interested in it? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. With that, we'll wrap off today's installment of our weekly news. Next time, we'll bring you a more spectacular batch of technology-related news. If you love this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell to view more of our weekly robotics and new technology updates. We'll see you again in the next one. Until then, peace.